piece book that you are in rest, you teach students right now. What do you think you have learned from students? Like how have they taught you something or they inspired you? Trust me, uh, wherever I go, wherever I meet uh, you know, different kind of students, they know more than me, let's say. Uh, they are buddy people, they can call it as a Gen Z, whatever the generation is, you know, I don't name it. But uh, they know about present technology, uh, they talk about those things. Whenever, you know, whenever I used to handle my phone or anything, uh, send messages, there were so many features about that. They used to talk me, sir, do this, do this, this is future key, etc, etc. I, 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 you know, literally learn from them. Or else whenever I go there, uh, whenever they solve some, you know, some problems that we are um, facing, uh, especially on drones or anything, if it's not lying there, and also if you are facing some battery issue or anything, when, when they come from, you know, a simple solution that inspires me a lot. Oh, I could have done this. Uh, yeah. Uh, we were talking about uh, drones carrying organs, like we were talking about how coming in traffic can take about one and a half hour, but drones can take it in 20 minutes. Me being from a biology background, it was fascinating for me to learn like how can drones be used to take up organs or how exactly the conditions like when you're carrying organs, certain conditions are supposed to be maintained, what is the way the drone can carry. How exactly the process was is really fascinating for me as a biology student. So if you'd like to share a few words on how exactly that process happens. Right. So when it comes to drones and all, like the the multi root drones consume a lot of battery rich. You know, so in agriculture, we spray 11 liters, 17 liters. That means it's almost like you know, you're spraying up to 11 to 12 kgs, carrying that apart from battery weight, etc., and also motor weight, and also body weight, etc., etc. The we call it as a payload, whatever the extra weight that we carry. So when it comes to this thing that the organ delivery, the blood delivery that I told. So you need not to worry about that much. You just need to, you know, have a you know attached bag or an attached box kind of thing. So you need just need to create. You just you don't need that much of space as a helicopter takes. So you just need a simple space for that, so that you can take off. You can create one spot and depart around the top of the hospital or near the spray. You can easily take off. So if you feel if there is any problem, if there is any flight failure or anything. So that you can also attach a parachute for that. You know the path, right? You know the path. So you, you know in which path the drone is going to fly. For example, you know, it's not like, you know, we are going to take out some kidney or uh, something today. We deliver it as a, you know, early thing. We know the the, the organs need to match. You know, we, we know earlier so that we also know the path, right? So from which hospital to which hospital we are carrying. So that if some failure happens, we need to create some, like airports, we need to create some drone ports in a particular area. If that flight failure happens, immediately we need to attach to the other room and we need to carry the patient. Yeah. Um, keep note, like, there's a lot of controversies going on, a lot of talk, a lot of criticism. How do you stay away from all of these controversies or how do you stay away from all of those criticisms? Uh, trust me, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, it looks like, you know, if you don't have a spice in your life, not no one. So, uh, you need to thank them actually. It motivates me. You ask me, right, what motivates you? You know, if somebody says something to you, oh, you're not looking good today, you look very fat, etc., etc. You know, it, you know, it pricks you inside, right? So, I wanted to give, so give him some red player, October or anything. It's not about looks or anything. It's all about the knowledge that you carry, the way of behavior that you carry, the character that you, you know, portray in, in front of others, right? Like that, in like that way only. So that if somebody, you know, irritates me or, you know, say something bad to me or comments or anything, you know, I don't look come to that, to that, those things, you know, that much. I enjoy sometimes looking up because I know what I have, right? So, uh, you kept on going. I'm so busy so that I'm not able to concentrate on those things. Uh, yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, how do you see person before? Because when you're starting a journey and immediately when you face a lot of criticism or a lot of controversy, now we know we have a journey, we have a busy schedule, we are fixated on it. But when it was before, when you were just budding or just building things, how did 
controversy bring you down or bring you up or how did you get out of it and come to this level of mindset? Never react to that. That's it. Never react to those people. This is normal. If they are crossing the limit, means then only you should react. Otherwise, it's okay. Somebody saying something in in your back pain, let him speak. It's none of your business. Actually, he touches your body. Holds your collar and says something. Don't care about those people, but get motivated. Who oh, is saying something? She is saying something to me. Uh, today, if I want to thank somebody, I just want to thank all my haters because because of them only I'm sitting here today talking something about two things. Yeah.